uh, retail politics, classic retail politics, but some of these voters this time around feel like they're being ignored. For the Republican presidential hopefuls, New Hampshire is the second stop on the road to the White House. But unlike the first stop in Iowa, independent voters who make up about 40% of the electorate are in the driver's seat. And most come to the table with strong partisan views, according to the University of New Hampshire's Andrew Smith. Some of them are Democrats, some of them are true independents, and most of them are really Republicans. But Elizabeth Ossoff from New Hampshire's Institute of Politics says don't call them renegades. I wouldn't call them renegades as much as I would call them fiercely independent in the sense that um, they're going to make up their own minds. What happened in Iowa or what the pundits predict doesn't necessarily sell in New Hampshire. Voters here relish the vetting process. Large town hall meetings are a kind of appetizer to the real meal, that up-close encounter on Main Street. But New Hampshire radio host Paul Westcott says some of his listeners feel like some contenders have tuned them out. The candidates, they came, and some of them have spent a lot of time here. Like John Huntsman, Mitt Romney, and early on, Rick Santorum. But it just didn't happen as much, and the candidates kind of stayed away. Their daily planners were packed with a lot of debates, visits to Iowa, and national media interviews. In an election cycle where Republicans are having a difficult time rallying behind one candidate, some independent voters here are still scratching their heads. In the Republican field, I'm not too impressed. Mitt Romney, the former governor from neighboring Massachusetts, has consistently maintained a two-to-one lead over his closest opponents, the clear front runner in the Granite State. But Smith, it's not a warm embrace. Romney, well, we may not like you too much, but you're probably the guy with the best chance. So I think that's the kind of dynamic that's going on as well. Former Senator Rick Santorum is getting a second look after his near victory in Iowa. And Newt Gingrich is attacking the frontrunner who cost him his fortunes in Iowa. I think it's dangerous to make predictions in New Hampshire. I really do. And I think you have to wait until the last possible minute. In the most uh, recent poll, the Suffolk University poll, Mitt Romney continues to hold a big lead over his closest uh, competitor, John Paul, uh, Ron Paul. Um, Rick Santorum is seeing a little bit of a bump as well, but the big number we're paying attention to, 15% still undecided. So that's why you're seeing these candidates working very hard, holding those town hall meetings, running those ads on television, trying to make that final pitch in these final days, Kira. Dan, thanks. And some good news in our economy. New sign the recovery is actually getting.